Every autumn, ski school owner Albin Knoflach dreads looking at the weather report. Due to warmer temperatures, his school has been forced to open later each year. Into the business it has an impact, uh, a massive impact basically. This season Albin expects a third less income. Here we usually started in September when the snow came. And now we start in November, that is missing two months out of six months. Austria's Stubai Resort opened its first few slopes in mid-October, the latest start in the glacier's history. Uh, like, it's a pity that it opened this late, this late, but it's amazing now. In Switzerland, some high-altitude resorts set their opening date as late as mid-November. If the snow season is getting shorter every year, then how long can winter sports actually last? Businesses and governments are worried. In Austria alone, winter tourism generates roughly 5% of GDP, something that would be difficult to replace. Climate experts say in the future, skiing will only be possible on elevated glacier resorts like Stubai. Despite the fortunate location, Stubai ski lift director Andreas Kleinlöcher is not content. Beim Wintersport oder beim Skifahren da hängt ja viel mehr zusammen. Es geht ja von, von, von der Bekleidung, von, der, von, von, von den Ski und von den ganzen Materialien, äh, Gastronomie, Hotellerie, alles zusammen. Und letztendlich geht es der ganzen Branche nur dann gut, wenn, wenn man möglichst überall Skifahren gehen kann. Nicht nur in, 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 in ein paar Regionen. Meanwhile, some resorts decided to change strategy. Last season, major Austrian ski destinations made more revenue in summer than winter, offering activities like hiking and mountain biking. We can look back currently to a very successful, to an extended summer season. Okay, for some businesses is it really difficult, but also these businesses change uh, to, other, to other topics and so they also have the possibility to do business as well, also during the summer period. But the strategy doesn't work for everyone. Ski school owner Albin says if he'd start renting out hiking equipment during warmer months, in terms of revenue, this would only be a fraction of what his business usually makes in winter. 